and get, getting back when two of the colors are played. In the morning, we have Reveille, and the cannon goes boom, the music plays, and in the afternoon, we have Retreat, and they take the flag down, the cannon goes boom. America is the world's law enforcer. We can determine this simply by recognizing its military might. Not that America always sends troops into conflict, but it's always willing to send in the hardware. Tanks, planes, rockets, bullets, bombs. Even if the politics of sending in tanks or other obvious hardware is too sensitive, America always finds a way to get at least bullets and bombs to the troops that will take them to the front lines. Some viewers may be aware that many of these bombs and bullets contain something called depleted uranium. The reason they call it depleted is because it contains less of the fissile isotope U-235. But the bottom line is that depleted uranium is still uranium, a highly radioactive and dangerous substance. Depleted uranium is also a byproduct of the nuclear power industry. It's extremely expensive and laborious to store, and more so to dispose of. Therefore, the U.S. Department of Energy, along with other agencies of government and politicians, cooked up the idea of using depleted uranium in U.S. military munitions. If you're interested in being a part of continuing to serve, this is ideal for that. I've been instrumental in making history, but I've also been instrumental in contributing to this country's security. It's pretty awesome. The justification for doing this was that DU really packs a punch, largely because of its density. It greatly increases the penetrating power of any bullet or missile. Even if a missile or bullet contains no explosive, it explodes on impact anyway. When it explodes and burns at high temperature, it essentially aerosolizes into micron-sized particles. These particles will shoot off in all directions and even become diffused in the atmosphere. When it descends to Earth, it pollutes the soil and water. These particles now cover the entire planet, including the good old U.S. of A. When they cooked up this scheme, they already knew all of this. This knowledge wasn't the result of studies conducted after the Gulf Wars. Why this is concerning is the health implications. For instance, a single particle of DU can easily be inhaled by both animals and humans. DU is almost insoluble, so the particle will remain in the body, exposing it to radiation. This radiation will cause the cells nearby to mutate and become cancerous. Eventually, they are absorbed into the blood and lymphatic system and cause greater harm. So, personally, I base my opinion of America, its government employees, and politicians largely on their willingness, eagerness even, to continue their use of depleted uranium. I consider them to be a mix of psychopaths and demons. I produced this video to make my case for this and to persuade the viewer to adopt this view. This isn't propaganda, as I'm being as factual as I can be and stating my intent point blank. The best way to illustrate the effects of DU and that our government is under the control of psychopaths and demons is to show you some examples of the congenitive disorders or birth defects caused by the use of DU. I warn you now, this is without a doubt the most disturbing video I've ever produced. The following images will only last a minute or so, but I recommend you not continue viewing if you have a weak stomach for this sort of thing.